So far, we've done addition and subtraction, and now we're going to look at multiplication. What is multiplication? Here's what it means. This time, both Celeste and Jack bring three bananas. To make an equation, Thomas has to bring six. We can write this as 3 plus 3 equals 6, just like our addition equation before. But can you see that 3 plus 3 is like two bunches of three bananas? Instead of writing 3 plus 3, we can write 2 multiplied by 3 bananas. That's what multiplication means. The 2 in front tells us how many bunches there are. And the 3 tells us how many in each bunch. A bunch is just a group or lot, and anything that can be arranged in equal groups or lots can be written as a multiplication. When we put the numbers in, it looks like an equation again. Can we swap the numbers around like before? Yes, 2 multiplied by 3 is the same as 3 multiplied by 2. Banana-wise, this means 3 bunches of bananas with 2 bananas in each bunch. Still 6 bananas altogether. Can we multiply a number by 1? Remember, 2 multiplied by 3 means 2 lots of 3, a total of 6. So 3 multiplied by 3 means 3 lots of 3, 9 altogether. 4 multiplied by 3 means 4 lots of 3. So 1 multiplied by 3 has to mean 1 lot with that lot containing 3 in it. This equals 3. This is a special case where 1 multiplied by a number just equals the number itself. 1 multiplied by 5 equals 5, and so on. Of course, we can also swap them around to say 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. This means three lots, with each lot containing only one banana each. There's one more thing to wonder about. Can we multiply something by nothing? That means by zero. Banana-wise, this means zero lots, or no bunches of bananas. So it doesn't matter how many bananas there are in each bunch. If we don't have even a bunch, then we can't have any bananas at all. Zero multiplied by three equals zero. And that goes for multiplying any number by zero. Zero multiplied by a million is zero. OK, let's blow up all the bananas.